So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to clean my Steam. I mean, delete some games that I don't like. By some strange miracle, they ended up on my account. And while I was on that fun journey, I got this brilliant idea. I asked myself, what would happen if I played the game and remove it from my account while still playing it? Wow. So I began to search for my victim. It had to be some game that I guess I would like, but still kind of sucks. I hope that makes sense. Now you may ask yourself why I need to have mixed feelings for the game that I'm about to experiment on. Well, if I just completely don't like it, I'll delete it straight away, right? So this game was something that I'm into these past few months. Really cool strategy game. Detailed so much that every soldier had its own inventory. That is crazy. It is the most realistic World War II RTS I've ever seen, yet I don't like it. Why? Well, because controls are effing bad, graphics are decent, and every time someone dies you have to read their name. Yes, you heard me right. Every time some soldier dies in a battle, no matter where it is, his name appears on the screen. And you cannot turn this off in the in-game options. You have to dig into game files and rewrite some simple code to make this go away. Which is not that big of a deal, but I just don't want to do that. I just could not bother with it. And I instantly labeled this game as my victim. So I made sure I'm in game. And then I went to the Steam support site to remove it. Once it was done, I could still play the game but only until I quit. If I go back to the desktop, I will have to purchase the game again. Yeah, so uh, that's it. I don't know what I expected.